What's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new show that we may never do again, or maybe we'll do a bunch. I don't know. One cheek, one mouth. <laughs> I had to we're say gonna have sorry. To, that, we're going to have to <laughs> fill them in on what that means. But before we get there, we are playing Crokinole. Mm-hmm. That's how it's said, right? I think so. I always, I started like, I thought it was Croken Hole, which... That's fitting for the name of the show now. fitting for the name of the show. <laughs> but, so I'm joined by Danny Standring. Additions, on the other hand. Golf is one of my favorite card games to play, and Scram is like golf on crack. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Let's play. <laughs> no. Uh, who oh, wow. is a short-form board game content creator. We are going to play... Crokinole, mm-hmm. and we're just going to talk about whatever. Uh, it's you know half that. podcast, half Crokinole. A um, couple of rule modifications, though. Well, just really one. Normally, you can't take your butt cheek. Cheek. So you have to have at least one cheek on the chair. One cheek on the chair, but we also need to stay on mic. So yes, and that's where little, the one mouth comes from. <laughs> yes. Um, and we also use salt in this game, apparently. It's garlic salt. Garlic. It is literally garlic salt. No, it is salt. not. Okay. It's wax. Cool. Because I feel like I almost cooked with this when it was at my house. It's it very confusing when you have it out on the table and you also have spices out on the table. No, it, I mean, that's what it is. It, it looks like it. probably doesn't taste all that great. Is it sand? I, I, think, I think it's wax. How do we determine who goes first in this game? Uh, pray. We pray? <laughs> <No>. And then... <laughs> What I don't know what the, I don't know what the actual prayer. I don't know what the actual rule is for first player. It's usually just like a friendly like you can go first day. Like it's yeah, yeah, on, I feel it's like, on well, you. Well, let's do the the chess thing. Give me the give me a oh, okay. give me a white thing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll definitely switch them up. You think I would know with how much I play like how you would determine hey, it's yours. who would go yeah. first, but um yeah, I don't. <laughs> and we're playing to we're playing your scoring rules. Yeah, so it's like the tournament scoring rules. So we're not cool. going to play first to 100. It's going to be Whoever wins the round gets two points. If we tie, we each get one point, and it's going to be the first person to get to nine wins. Great. So there won't be a difference of of points on the board, which is nice because if there's a difference of skill, it won't be like a giant blowout, be one or the other. And you're probably going to destroy me. Straight for me. me. No, no, no. There's no way. Um, and you know, and you, you, you know the the general gist. Just I got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've 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 played before. Okay, just want to make sure. I played sure. before. You can tell me when I break the rules. How about that? Break away. All right. Do it. Oh, this is like interesting with the mic in front uh, yeah, it's, of me it's here. Yeah, it's a real challenge. You know what? It's just going to... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm right here in the mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that counts. That counts. And that's right, out. That's out. All right. All right, I'm up. All right. Nope, that was yeah. not even close. Okay. All right. <laughs> you know we're All getting right. into this it. We're start. getting into this it. This is a good start. It's early. Yes. We're still getting into the swing of the day. I like it. I yep. like it. I'm going to not be so aggressive with this shot. Um, Let's see. Oh, there, oh, there we, we're on. We're we're doing it now. Um, Dang it! Wow, that was you went for I it. I did. Oh, I gotta, like, gotta really skip it over it, and and yeah, gotta be forceful with it. All right. Um, I really am like focusing on keeping one mouth on the microphone. Yeah, you gotta you do it. Give, you have given me a challenge, and now I need to do it. And we like a ref in here. Like, <laughs> that's a thing in this game. Jeremy, there's, don't watch this if you're watching this. He's gonna be so embarrassed when he watches my gameplay. All right, damn. I, I knocked it a little bit. You got it. I knocked it a little you, bit. You're doing so it. So for those watching who don't know how to play Croken Hole, if you get it in the in the Croken Hole, you get twenty, then fifteen, ten, and five. But I need to hit your. Mm-hmm. If you have anything on the board, I have to hit it. Yep. And or else it doesn't count for me. That was, right, there that we was go. a great now, shot. Now we're 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 getting we're getting into it. That was a great shot. But. Speaking of getting into it, oh wait, you're not on. You're not on mic. You're not on mic. This is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. Oh, mm, mm. nice shot. So, yes, that was I don't know how I, I got that through there. Did no one just accept it and be like, "I did that." Yeah, I did that. Okay, but no. Speaking of getting into it, how did you get into making short form content? about board games? Um, so there's, there's, it's not that lengthy of an answer, but it's actually kind of like a little bit of an emotional answer. Oh, all right. Um, I had just had my Anger, youngest. I assume. Oh, I was pissed. Yeah. So I oh. was like, I'm making content. <laughs> um, so this, I have never made videos before all of this. Like oh, wow. I was, you know, like white girl take pictures of everything type of thing, but like never like produced anything. Yeah. Um, I had just had my youngest and the pandemic had started and a big thing when having kids that we don't always talk about is like you kind of lose yourself and 
you are just like mom. That's it. Like you lose your past self and I just didn't know who I was. Like mm. I had friends, but like I wasn't going out with people, especially with the pandemic. I was like, the only thing I identified as was a caregiver for these two kids, especially now like this newborn. I was like, who the hell am I? Yeah. And I was like, well, I really like board games. So maybe like I'll start talking about board games to people on the internet to like find some semblance of like who I was again. Mm. And for whatever reason, people were like, I like watching your stuff. Still missed me a little bit. So I just kept doing it. And I just found myself like, oh, I get to like express myself. Mm. And like I was still mom, but I got to be Danielle again. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, just kind of like it evolved from there into now this. And I'm eternally grateful for it because... Like I said, I had never done anything like this. I work in science. I work in a very, like, corporate industry. Like, yeah, yeah. And this allows me to, like, actually express myself and be myself outside of, like, what is expected of me in life. So oh, yeah. it's – that's that's the real – I don't think I've ever said that in, like, a real public forum. Oh, that's like, amazing. Normally it's like, yeah, it was the pandemic and I was bored. But, like, that's that. the legitimate answer. I was like, I was trying to figure out who I was and y'all get to see it now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's amazing, and I love it. And I, you know, yes, your your, your TikToks are very hilarious. Oh, thank you. And very entertaining. So and thank I you guess, for sharing that. Thank with you. And us I guess all. that all stems from like you know my mom experience and my work experience and just life. So I'm glad I get to share my life with people. Yeah. No, I, that's. I enjoy life quite a bit. That's great. Yeah. I feel like it, it took me it took me such a long time for both, having both of my kids to like find my groove again. Yeah, just you know, figure like, out like who am I as a human again? Because totally. like you love your kids and you want to give them everything and you do give them everything at like the cost of like damn nice broken hole. <laughs> you have to you have to chant every time you, you have get to it do in it. Broken That's the rule. <laughs> <laughs> How do you have one more? I cheat. You pulled out the I, ditch. I, I, you're right. I do. I do that, and you have to watch out for. It. I like don't think about. It. You pulled out the ditch. I pulled out the ditch. I don't, it's a, it's a subconscious ditch. <laughs> Pulled out the ditch. Okay. <laughs> All right. So these cancel out. This okay. is still in, but you have the 10 here. So you take the lead as 30 to 15. So you get two points. Two points. All right. Two, two, nothing. Play to nine. Yes. I think that's a little silly. We're playing to nine. <laughs> I, I don't know 10. why it's nine. I mean, we can do 10. No, no, no. I, no, we, this is tournament rules plus the one mouth rule. <laughs> tournament plus one mouth. I don't, I don't like the way that sounds, but it's fine. We keep it PG here. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> All right, so who goes first now? You go first. It is, it is I. Okay, great. Take him out your ditch. Take, oh, yes, thank you. I got it. But, but these things are a lifesaver. We didn't have these for the longest time, and we always found ourselves taking discs from where we shouldn't be taking them. Yeah. We were like, how is this round still going? All right. So it's me. Mm -hmm. All right, I will do my best. It's all I can do. Yes. Holy shit. It worked. Wow. I should do my best more often. <laughs> I'm going to say this before I do everything. I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm gonna my, do best. my best. Uh, oh, that was, that was nice. That was aggressive. All right, here we go. What is, the, what is the angriest you have ever been while playing board games? Oh, I don't typically get angry. I am a very emotional person. I don't know if I should be proud of that or I'm glad no, no. that I'm able Everyone's to. Everyone's an emotional person. Like, um, it's just how deep down you bury them. Um, so so I, if you're showing your emotions, I could. that's great. I don't know if I get angry with games. I've definitely got like heated at some things, but I've definitely gotten sad. Like, Oh, interesting. Okay. Like I've cried over games. Okay. Is it because of the people it, that you're playing with or is it like, is it the game itself? That it's, makes always you it's always the people. <laughs> so I'm surprised I actually am in board games because one of the first games we bought to okay. play with people. So we, we got into board games through magic okay, and yeah. we played magic, but like got to a point where like, okay, it's just my husband and I, like we want to play with friends and we play magic with some friends, but like what games do we get to the table that more people can play with us? So we did like the typical, like ticket to ride, yep. apples to apples. And then we bought Munchkin. Ooh. I the dreaded munchkin. I have never, and we have this one friend. We love him. We love him. I'm not going to name his name. You know who you are if you ever watch this, Kenny. Um, Kenny. <laughs> um, but he is such an a hole when it comes to things. Like he has to win. At, it doesn't matter the cost. He will burn every bridge in order to win. And the whole stick. I haven't played it in so long. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if I, I know the whole stick of the game. Like, just like it's briefly. like a dungeon crawly and like. 
you're you're drawing cards and doing things and fighting things to get to the end. However, it's kind of like some no- negotiation where you can have people help yeah. you, and like you'll both progress along the track. And I think it's like the first like ten. Mm-hmm. I'm terrible at describing. No, that's them. good. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you make alliances and you try and help each other, and it got to a point where, like, Kenny, all he wanted to do was help everyone. He's like, I just want to help you. I just want to help you. Like, offering to help everyone. Like, I'll go on this quest with you. I'll help you. And so I'm like, okay, Kenny, like, come help me. I helped him the whole time, and then it came down to the very end, and like, he totally backstabbed Ooh. everyone, and he was like finger pointing and yelling names were being called and like I have never felt so betrayed in my life like and it's in front of people and there was a couple drinks involved and I tears yeah. no tears way. just started flowing and then like we started yelling at each other about other things outside of the game like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like this is why no one likes you <laughs> and like it just went back it was a verbal back and forth yeah, yeah. and I was like I don't know if I ever want to play a board game ever again if this is what board games are like. Yeah, so no. I don't know how I came back from that because I definitely went to bed going, I'm never playing games again. Um, so yeah, that was that was one instance. And then there's actually another instance that I'm not too proud of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm trying to think if games have ever made me sad. Sad, for sure. Scythe. Scythe. Have you played Scythe? Yes, I love Scythe. I also enjoy Scythe. <sighs> yeah. Um, but there was a time where I think we played Scythe for like a while. That was like one of the uh, the first big games we got, actually. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. I like the like a bulky game. It's like a like a war game. There's like mechs on the board. Yeah. And, uh, and like I bet there's like some you know, the like resource a management. Yeah, there's a and lot. There's, it's like pretty weighty. It is. Yeah. It is pretty weighty. But we played it wrong. Forever, like every time we wrapped up playing, it was like, oh, we we did river rock walking wrong, or like we oh, did yeah. we did like something wrong that would impact, like okay, asterisk this game. But it got to, I think Kenny may have been involved with this one too. <laughs> Kenny, he's really hurting my feelings. Therapy. Well, therapy, Kenny. That's yours. Um, so it got to a point oh, where thank he, you. yeah, no You're problem, right. just giving it. you all of your points. Um, it it. I got so I did maybe I did get angry. It was an angry sad where like we kind of have like a no fight sees rule in that game. Yeah. Like let's just be peaceful. We're kind of not going to screw with each other. We don't play with the faction that gives you like the the combat bonus or yeah. whatever it is. And he didn't care. And he didn't he cared about no one. <laughs> and I just remember being like cuz you spend so much time building up your engine and getting your resources going and like there's a lot of investment in the game for end game. Yeah. And he didn't care. He was just just like path of destruction and then like dumped stars to win. And I just remember like feeling like so overwhelmed. I was like, I worked so hard at this game for nothing. Like it's gone up in flames and I I have cried over sight. Like that is. (sighs) There are also like some of those games that are just like, they take so much like time investment and like energy building up your, I don't know, your engine or whatever. And then like someone can just come over and destroy it all. What am I doing? I don't. This is the piss poorest game. No. Uh, <laughs> yes. Agreed. <laughs> That's all right. We're, we're, we'll, we'll make a comeback here. You're crushing me this time around. Oof. Uh, you Wait, have no, no, two I've got in two. the Never hole. mind. I just forget about the, the whole ones. They're gone. <laughs> They're gone to me. They're dead to me. <sighs> um. Got to get some... Gonna get some touch on it. So, what type of games do you like to play? Like outside of all yeah. of this, like what is your jam? It's so interesting. I feel like much of my like board gaming experience now is like I can't tell if it's sad or not, but I feel like it's all like research now. Like I'm just like I gotta play new games so I can like just know what's out know there. What's, what's the thing? Um, but honestly, like I think that right now is is kind of my jam. I just like do really enjoy. It. Oh, that was awesome. All right, we're just gonna pretend awful. that didn't happen. Yeah, my, uh, that was my last oh. one. Oh, okay. So I just need a 40, 20. Yeah, we just need to get it in here. Uh, or not. Or not. Or not. All right. So, <laughs> so this is out. This is 30, 50. So I get the two points. You get the two time. points. All right. Two, two. We got this. We're doing great. Um, I, I really love I, I love games that let me be like clever or sneaky. Mm-hmm. Um, or yeah, like I like I like hidden information, like Ooh. hidden roles, like that kind of thing. I just like I love, I love the like. Um, you know, reading other people, trying to like be oh clever and outsmart Austin is really like the games that I enjoy the most. Can you make a game just called Outsmart Austin? It's what all of our games are, okay. and I and I do that every time. That's the that's the whole point of all this. No. That's my only goal in life now. <laughs> yes. Um, 
No, I, I really like those, but uh, easy killer. Uh, I, I, easy, I, easy. I touched it. You definitely it was, did. It was a little much. Uh, All right, this this mic is. Uh... Oh, very nice. I, I I we we both do really like deck builders, though. I really love the feeling <sighs> of like building something up like over I love time. Deck builders. But but although you come at it from like a CCG standpoint but are you also like a fan of like dominion and stuff yeah so that's actually was our like rainbow bridge okay so magic and then we got into ascension yep and then star realms hero hero realms dominion like that's kind of like how we started getting into like board games yeah which they still near and dear to my heart i love deck builders it's probably still my favorite genre it's so good yeah i say that hesitantly like is there anything that i think is better probably not it, it's interesting because, like, to me, like, the Dominion style deck builder is, I think, such a different feeling than mm -hmm. Dominion y deck builders. And I've, I'm not, like, in the CCG world. Like, I don't. I'm not anymore. Reason. Okay. No, oh, I'm not at all anymore. I don't have time for that. That's, no. like a, that's a life investment. Yeah. You play half the game outside of the game. It's true. This is true, and it's called finances. <laughs> how do you how do you how do you handle that? It's called I have to go to my job and make some money to then Funds. buy the, the cards, and that's 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 how you play a CCG is go to work and step one have a job. Yeah, but step one get a job. I feel like this isn't going to end well for me if I find other that. friends who also have jobs. You just give it a little bath, a little I shower. Did. How many how many pieces do you have over there? I have there? three. You have three? Should I have three as well? So I started. Did I start? Yeah, I started. You started. Okay. Yes. Cool. All right. Yes. Damn. We got yes. a shack over here. A shack? A shack. Like as in like Shaquille. Shark. Oh, a shark. I was like, how does Shaquille O'Neal, how does he have anything to do with all this? He's a crocodile fan. Actually, I bet I you I bet you love, he would be a crocodile fan. I would love to play Shaq and Crocodile. Yo. You're gonna need to calm down, sir. No, never. <laughs> you're allowed to flick, right? You can you know it's not just be like a push. You can Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 cool, yeah. Cool. I just want to make sure I'm not breaking, breaking the, rules the rules over rules. here. Oh wow. Wow. That was good. Getting used to the barrier in front of me. I, I keep worrying that I'm like, I feel like I gotta go like lefty or something with this what mic doing? situation. <laughs> go lefty. I mean, like, well, how, am I, how am I supposed to hit this? So, I, I feel this is so awkward. Oh, that was it actually worked, fantastic. Though. It did. All right, I'm gonna totally blow this. Yep. I was trying to go. In. All right. So, this, is, this is all new. You don't even have to oh, do anything. I don't even anything. have to do this. No. So, really, I just cannot hit that. And, but I, I gotta. Wow. Do that, That's a way to go out. <laughs> Another two, so four to two. two uh, four to two. Mm -hmm. This is great. Uh, I feel like people are going to be incredibly disappointed when they watch me play this game. And they're going to be like, wow, I know you are actually terrible at it. And I know that. I accept that. Is is there any way Krogan Hole is like making its way to ESPN, like a, like a cornhole situation? I don't know. but so I feel like it could. They are actually coming to the World Series of Board Gaming. So, oh, and who's we, Jeremy. Jeremy Tracy in the Crokinole. Did he invent the crokinole? No, they just oh, make okay. really good okay, boards. Cool. <laughs> and he's kind of a cool guy. We played disc golf together. Oh, nice. Ago. And guess what? He's also good at that game. So <laughs> made me feel great. It's like, I mean, it makes sense. Like disc golf's like the crokinole of the lawn, right? Lawn of the woods. Of of the, the outside? Of the woods. Of the woods, yeah. Crokinole of the woods. Crokinole of the woods. Do you do anything outside? <laughs> no. Do you do anything? Segway. Do you like... Do you have hobbies outside of board oh, games? Other than parenting, you can't Other say than parenting. parenting. Yeah, that's not a hobby. Because I say I'm like, parenting is probably number Do one. Do I have hobby. any hobbies outside of... It's okay. Outside of board gaming. So... What my, do you do? What do I do? If I... So, you know, the normal things, go out to eat with my wife mm -hmm. and watch, you know, Nonsense HBO either. shows and random stuff like that. I'd really just like making things. Mm -hmm. So like I will like I, I I like to make video games in my spare time. Like, so like just for funsies. Just for funsies. Like what kind yeah. of video games are we talking here? Um, I don't want to give away any like future plans. Okay, of the studio, well, let's say, but uh, <laughs> so I made a, I made a video game a long time ago 
um, with with uh, many of the wonderful folks here at the studio called Bouncy Smash. Uh, you bounce and you smash. That's not, not how I interpreted that. Kind, I know, but, but we're gonna not go. The, not that kind of smash, just a different kind. My mind is immediately in the gutter 24-7. Yes, yes. Well, you did name the show, so. <laughs> Oh, that, that was. I hate that almost, for me. Yeah. Uh, so like I, every, we, we came out on uh, iOS and it made no money, but it was really fun to make. So occasionally I'll just like open up a new uh, new project and start Bouncy Smash Two or whatever. But all right. Um, I am also like looking at the, you know, the board games that we have and like trying to think like, oh, are there like games that feel similar to this that we, we can, can make, make make into a video game? It's just very fun. So, I like uh, that. yes, I, uh, I sometimes watch, uh, I, I'm a big Minnesota Vikings fan. So Ooh. like that consumes a lot of my sports. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not like really into many other sports. I feel like I've just got time to be like into the one thing. I feel like I may get very into things. And so get like, invested yes. emotionally. Yes. And so like, I'm like, oh, I like board games. Let's. Go all make in. My Let's make a board game studio. Uh, I like video games. Let's. Uh, it's got to be a way to make money on this. So is that what uh, your background is in? Is in like. No, my background is in. I mean, like, so Ivy Studio has been get out a of here with your <laughs> sniping. Like, I, I feel like I'm. I need to like uh, focus. Get into it. It's great. Really, my my thing is just like we get people in here and distract them with conversation. And then I beat them at Crokinole. That oh, apparently is the game. So you so, get another two. Uh, six, six to two. <laughs> yep. Um, Gotta make a comeback. No, so my background is in in animation. Yeah. Um, and so like, so Ivy Studio has been an, a commercial animation studio for the last 10 to 12 years now. Yes. Um, and so that is where we kind of came up. Uh, we still do that. We still have, uh, I think you're first. I, I think yeah, I went first that time. Yep. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, we still we still do that. I'm not directing as many projects, trying to focus on you know board games and hopefully video games. Oh, nice. Starting out strong. Pressure's on. Don't call All it. Right. Come back. You've been here for years. Oh. It was close. Don't f this up, Danielle. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I like to I like to write. I'm working on a few like. <laughs> narrative things in my free time. I like to make things. That's my like... Your hands-on guy. It's my thing. Not I'm not hands-on. I don't like to build things. I like to make things on the computer like a true nerd. Um, I like that. I love that for you. Yeah, I don't know. What about, what about you? Other than... Uh, do you have do you, things other than board games that you are deeply into? Deeply into. So I play a lot of disc golf. Mm. I like being in the woods. So we're big hikers. Nice. Okay. We are big outdoorsy people. Oh, that's so in. Um, we love the woods. So naturally we like got any specific woods or just them all? Um, you know, like ones with the, the the hills you can climb. Like I'm not just gonna be in the woods for woods' yeah, yeah. sake. Like I, I want an activity. Okay. Um so we got into disc golf probably like ten years ago. So it allows it allowed us to hike and gamify things because you know, having competition twenty four seven in your life is super healthy for a relationship. Definitely. Oh yeah, yeah. Um so we are always competing. <laughs> um do a lot of disc golf. Um, I like to bake. I Ooh, love right. to bake. I love it is one of my favorite things to do at home. It is like very therapeutic and but also I eat a lot of what I bake. And that becomes I, That's a kind of the point, I feel like. Yeah, but when you're the only one in the house that likes sweets and you make two dozen cookies and they disappear after 24 hours, you're like, who the hell am I? And then my stomach's like, who the hell are you? Mm. But they're delightful. Yeah, no, they're great. Love to bake. So any chance I have to do that, I try and do. My daughter once characterized me as she imagines like after you go to bed, you're just sneaking around eating all the candy. Sneaking around. And I'm like in the cabinets like a gremlin. Yeah. And then I like, every time I go and like I like get up and I'm just like sneaking around eating all the candy. Like, and I'm just what like, I do. she's right. Uh Halloween time when you're like, all right, we need the candy to keep track of what you're eating. And then realistically, <sighs> it is you eating the kids' candy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. there's so much candy. They yeah. should not eat they all. Don't, they candy. don't. They, just, they shouldn't eat it all. No. I'm helping them. You're being this a is, good parent. I'm being a good parent by eating their Halloween candy <laughs> without telling them. <laughs> I can't even play this game right now. All right. Oh yeah. Yep. That's broken all. How many should I have left? I feel like I'm cheating. Uh, I have two. I, I have two I started, as well. So. 
It's getting ugly for me. Yeah. I think you got I think, I, I think I might have this one. I definitely think you do. Unless Ooh. they can pull off a miracle. See, I would, I, I would, I would like to be into cooking. We love to cook. Like, really, I'm like, I'm at the stage of cooking where I just like, I just want to buy some expensive knives. That oh, sounds fun. But new I hobby. like, yeah. I'm get just into like, it. Let's spend some money on this. In like some pots and pans, like real nice ones. Yeah. You get like super yeah. anal about like, do not wash that with that brush because you are going to destroy it. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I know how to, I know how to clean a cast iron pan. You'd buy a new one. That's. <laughs> That's what I, learned I think my husband would agree with you. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got this cancels. Yeah. You, All right. Yeah. Yeah. That was eight, close. It was eight, eight to two. Eight to two. I'm doing myself dirty right now. So is there is there any board game experience that or like a game that you're just like, I did not know a game could make me feel this way? Um <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know if you want me to like tell stories here. Tell stories. That's so great. I made a joke recently. So there was one game that came into my life recently. Okay. It is dry as all hell. Oh, like a, like a euro. Yeah. Kind of thing. But it made me feel things that like no man or woman has ever made me feel. <laughs> And I, it is now in my top five of wow. all time. What, what is it? Barrage. Barrage. I've not played. It is, you are basically building hydroelectric dams. Like you are building oh, dams and you I've are seen, collecting electricity. Yeah. And just the gameplay of it <clears throat> and the different things you're doing and like everything you do feels good. Like every mm. action you take, every like time you put something down and put yeah. something back and you gain the electric and it just... I was salivating at the end of the first time we were playing. I did horribly. Drool all over the board. I, I you had to wipe, apparently I'm having a hard a time with my mouth in general. Yeah, yeah. Just bucket and a mop after that one. <laughs> but it was. I just remember playing. And I was like, we need to play this immediately again. And every time since, it just like the emotion behind it. And I'm like, I I think I have a new life partner, Todd. I'm sorry. I'm leaving you for barrage. Um, it is it is ugly. The game is ugly. Like, Interesting. It is not a good looking game. It is gray and dry and like I guess the the pieces are pretty cool. They're colorful. Yeah. And like the because you're you play as like a person, like a, a mogul, a water mogul. Okay. None of them are good looking by any means. Like my and but man, does that game do things to me? <laughs> um yeah. Mm. And I guess I guess I could talk about like my favorite game of all time, but I feel like I talk about it all the time. Like that no, was no. the most recent experience that I was just like no, we always we always talk about like favorite games of all time. Like I'm, I'm trying to like, oh my God. I feel like there are like things that you play that are like they're not your favorite, but they just like surprised you. But in the that way one's that, like, super surprised that me. That they, I, I don't know. I feel like there can be a very large range of like mm. things that games can make people feel. Like you've you you've cried I, at games. I'm an you emotional have... soul. All right, I need. Sorry, I'm doing this because this is impeding, oh, yeah, yeah. impeding on my play. I'm back. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Nope, not even close. Not even close. I feel like I'm running out of... I'm running out of paprika over here. All right, cool. It's like a party foul to like... No, it's like, like a ritual. It's you're, you're summoning demons or something. Right, okay. Did you pull that from your ditch? I did. Good catch. Hey. Thank you. I, I got see. I, what I got to do is I got to push them away Get them so I don't. I don't grab. All right. Got to close this out. Not even. I, don't, I shouldn't talk while I. I shouldn't talk while I do it. Get him in here. Get him in here. See now I put it over here and it's all right. What well, What would you say is the the nerdiest thing about you? Oh my. Um, my life as a whole. Just everything? <laughs> as a whole. I didn't realize, like, I don't want to say nerdy, because I feel like this is going to be like, I'm so nerdy. <laughs> um, I didn't realize my nerdy tendencies were nerdy tendencies until I got much older and I reflected on my life. And I was like, oh, no, this was, this is a long time coming. Yeah. Like, this, this peak of my life, yeah. peak nerdiness, this has been a slow ramp. So in high school... I was on the robotics team. All right. And I didn't consider it nerdy at the time because I was like, I was super into video games and I got to like drive a robot and I loved RC cars, that type of thing. 
now looking back on that and how excited I got to put on my t-shirt that said like high school robotics team and like go and like compete. Very nerdy. Also, I was captain of the math team my senior year and we went undefeated and that's something I still tout about regularly. Too nerdy. (laughs) Too nerdy to take it back, Danielle. Like, (laughs) you need to calm down. So it was, it's been a thing. Um, Now see, but I was also like, I enjoy math. Okay, I love math. <laughs> like like I will look up math on Wikipedia some nights. Just to, just math. Just to you know get there's, informed. There's so many branches of math. There's a lot of math. There's all these cool problems. You ever like see a problem like one of those unsolved problems like on TikTok or something? Like, no, oh, I can solve that problem. No, is this gonna be a new problem for me? Like I need to go look this up. There are so now many I'm of these like on a rabbit these, hole these, of unsolved math problems. Oh yeah, there's so many of these famous math problems that like have no solution and people spend their lives. Like trying Deriding. to solve it, and like, and how very like white male of me to be like, yeah, yeah, but I can, I got this, I can do it, I got this. It's like I, all those guys who think they can like like score a point on Serena Williams in <laughs> tennis. It's like, okay, buddy, okay, yeah, you got this. Um, but I was also that person in high school that was like, I was asked to play D and D, and I was like, I don't. Okay. I don't do that. Yeah, I don't do that. And then the year after I graduated high school, I started playing World of Warcraft. So, you know, it was kind of like the the pot calling the kettle black wasn't, um, yeah. <laughs> I feel like nerdiness is such a shifting, you're destroying me this round. I just I had like, to move the mic like three yeah. inches <laughs> over and here yeah. I am. <laughs> um, I feel like it's such a shifting thing, right? Uh, you got me. You, so you beat me this one. Salt in the wounds. I was trying to go salt in the wounds. Good one. Good one. But there is there is like a scale of nerdiness. And there's a, so many like people who like knit a lot, like knitting nerds. Like that's a thing too. Like yeah, there's totally. like like when you're really into like a hobby, there's like you 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 have a level of nerdiness there. Like scrapbooking, people who use the cricket, like all of that, like that is a level of nerdiness that I tried to dive into. And people are just really good at it. Yeah. Like you, you make those tumblers, baby. You cross stitch. Like I have so much respect for people that crush that stuff. Not for me. Am I? You go first. I think it's no, me. No, no, no. no, no. I went last. You're time. right. You're right. You're right. Um. So what is is eight to four? Yeah. All right, we got this. I'm just happy we remember the score. Uh, well, it's it's but but it's not just like being a nerd isn't just like you're deeply into something because I don't think it's like for whatever reason, nerdy to be like really into sports. It, but I think it kind of is. So there's like, like I, I think, oh, yes. oh damn, from yeah. downtown. Like people who are in like super into stats, like baseball, they're baseball nerds. True. And they are like into the numbers. Cause like inherently baseball is the most boring thing on the face of this oh, planet. Most definitely. I will gladly go grab a beer and watch a baseball game live because that's what you do. But like, I'm not going to watch it on TV, but people are into the numbers. Oh yeah. And like, they're probably more nerdy than I am. About like their thing. Yeah. The only great thing that baseball gave us is the movie Moneyball. I've actually never seen that. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. Well. I mean, I think it is. I don't know. I'll have to watch it. <sighs> Nerdiness is a sliding scale. Oh, it definitely is. But I feel like there's like a thing that's just like, what do the norm, like it's like. The normies. The normies. <laughs> Like, what are they going to say is the nerdiest thing about you? Like, I mean, I definitely took a meeting the other day <sighs> in a cloak. <laughs> like for work. I was cold and like, you know, because they have the Snuggies and it's like a blanket you put your hands in. I was like, yeah. I don't want a blanket because it's going to impede me typing right now. I went and got my cloak and I put it on and I felt empowered. Okay. That meeting got crushed and I might just wear the cloak regularly. I should bring it into the office. Nice. So wait, is this like a, like your, your bio, uh, oh, yeah. my real met, job, your, my your, job. your work, work job? Yeah. That's amazing. Did anyone comment on the cloak? No, because I did not have the camera on. Oh, okay. We kind of, I don't think people at work work know the what's level. What's going on here? No. <laughs> or like the level of nerd. I think some know what's happening, but I don't know to what extent they they know what's going on. We can keep it that way. Have you, have you ever LARPed? No, but I'm curious about LARPing. You're LARP, LARP curious? I am LARP curious. I don't know if I could super get... All right, I guess I need to preface this. I, speaking of nerdiness, uh, did karate my whole teenage years into my 20s. And I actually taught. That was like my first job. Like I taught karate starting when I was 13 up to when I was about like 24. So like 
LARPing in that respect, because I used to love hitting people. Like, I used to compete fighting. Like, I love hitting people, not you. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, I really enjoy that aspect of things. Um, so LARPing interests me in that, that I get to not only hit people, but dress up and do it. Yeah. But I don't know if, like, it's really what I want to get into. It seems kind of a little bit like a cult. So. <laughs> but what is it, you know? But at this point, why not? Embrace it. I'll try yeah. anything once or twice. Same. Yeah. <sighs> I'm trying to think if I'm am I close to this one? I've got a I got a shot at it. I got a shot. So I didn't realize that the like camping was a part of LARPing. Like we, we went Is to really? um the the one in Birmingham, um, the con in Birmingham. Why is the name escaping me? In England. Um, oh, the UK Expo? Yeah, UKGE. And there was some LARPers and they did their LARPing like mm -hmm. combat thing. But then they like, it like became a renaissance fair almost or like a camping experience. See, I can and they get were, down with that. They were there like the whole I time. Didn't, I didn't know that. You can walk around with like a stein of meat afterwards after yeah. you like defeat oh, yeah. your foes. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, maybe I should get into LARPing. <laughs> you're, you're here for the camping, <laughs> not We now have like the, the three-way Venn diagram where I like hitting people, <laughs> I like dressing up, and I like, I like camping. camping. I think LARPing is for you. Might be perfectly for me. <laughs> So it seems like a cult. <laughs> it definitely does. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. What do I need here? What do I need here? For, um, for so this? right now you need to get rid of this and keep yours in here. Okay. It's possible. It is. It definitely is possible. That was it. So you have 30, 50 to 60. To 60. So it was close. It was close. Yeah. I'm making a comeback. You're making a comeback. So it is <laughs> six, to, six eight. to eight. All right. Oh, whoops. All right. I think it's me. It's no, you. no, it, no, it's you. It's you. So what is like the weirdest, like, have you had any ideas for like a video game or like a board game that is just so out of pocket and just like so like off kilter? You're like, this could never come to fruition. But like if we wanted a great April Fool's Day gag, this might be a fun one. We have a lot of conversations about edible board games. Like, is this? We were talking about this with the the peeps. With was the it peeps, with it was probably with Austin. Austin, Austin really wants to eat his board games. I think, like, it's I don't, there's something unexamined there for I, sure. I unexamined. I did a whole bit one time because someone asked me a question in the comments, like, if you could pick one board game to eat, which one would you eat? Oh yeah. And I, not reluctantly at all, was like Stone Age. Like, that's the easiest one to eat. Like, it's just a couple dice. Like, the pieces are small. Put them in, like, you make, like, a cereal with the milk. Yeah. Of course, there's milk involved. Yeah. And eat it. And then, like, the cup, you just dehydrate a little bit. It's like jerky. Put some spices on it. Like, you, you really are good. <laughs> and, like, so I think that's how this conversation sparked yesterday. And he was like, what if we made a game out of peeps? And I was like, sign me the hell up. Like, I, if you need someone to help develop this, I will come and eat everything. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, yeah, but then it's like you got to get like the. I think you're first. We, 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 we I decided started last this. Time. You started last time. My bad. I'm the one holding us up. You know, it's like oh. then you got to get the. I don't know the food people involved. And, oh, and then like, like yeah. that sounds like a nightmare. I'm just like I. I have a hard enough time getting miniatures made. I don't need to make what if marshmallows you like use and things fresh, that were already like. You know? What if you got some like really cool sponsors? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Like trolley. Oh. oh. Get like trolley that gummies was... to like sponsor some pieces. Yeah. Yeah, baby. You got it. Or like a uh, army like ration. <laughs> MREs. <laughs> Just because they <laughs> they keep forever, right? You don't have to worry about them like going bad. Well, Cars Against Humanity did it with the clam mayonnaise. Ooh, that, I don't know that? what that is, but that sounds awesome. So there's a whole big ass jar of clam mayonnaise. Yeah, it is, is mayonnaise that? made out of clam juice. And they have a whole pack of cards in the mail. So you have to like get down and dirty oh. in that jar and get oh, it no. out. And it smelled, my hand smelled so gross for yeah. so long. And I love me some mayo and I do love clams, but those together, <laughs> it was a wild ride. No, that's a no. That's a, <laughs> that's a no, no for me. That's a no. I'm going to, I say I try everything once, but not that. It was delicious. That's they where were, I, I the put line. some on a sandwich. I did you really? I sure as hell did. Just like mid game, you're just making a sandwich. I didn't play the game. You didn't play. No, you just I bought just, it for the I clam. I wanted maze. to know what was up. Like <laughs> I 
Try everything once. It's like they, I keep going to the grocery store and they don't have the, the clam and I, it, was I don't in, it was in Target, in the games aisle, because you're looking at the whole games aisle at Target and you're like, okay, game, 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 mayo. How did we get here? I don't, I don't know, but that sounds really gross and you know, good, good for them, I guess. This is. Step it up. I, I'm. I'm liking how this is. Yeah, sure. Uh, sure. That that works. Works. I'm sure you do. Have you oh ever? Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Have you ever like sat down to? Have you have you made a design a board game? Have you ever sat down? No, to... No, and I get asked that quite a bit. And yeah. there are some games like I, I have an idea of what type of game I want to make, and I actually have like written out a couple of Ooh. concepts and one that might happen one day. All right. Um, but I just feel like I already do a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, no. You're doing a lot. Um, so one day. I think that'd be like, you know, when Danielle retires and never, because that's never going to happen. <laughs> um, maybe. Who knows? Or like if someone like really wanted to do that with me, like if I had a partner in crime to help yeah. me with that. Um, but I've got I've got some ideas. I like, I, I want to keep it simple. Um, I who knows? Who knows? I'm also the type of person that's afraid to say I'm going to do something mm. and then it doesn't happen. Like, right. I don't want to, like, let people down. Yeah. So, like, I keep it I keep it tight. But I do have a notebook with a game and rules and, like, what it's going to look like. But nice. it just hasn't been put out there yet. <laughs> so, you heard it here, everyone. Danny's making a board game. <laughs> and she will not let you down. It, oh, I'm going to let you down. Hi, <laughs> you won this. This is brutal right now. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a big one. Just a big one that blows it all up. Yep. Yep. <laughs> all right. So right now I can only pray that you mess up or do the <laughs> polar opposite. <laughs> uh, this is a fun game, I've decided. I like this game, I think. I love this. I am not good at this game. Like, I make that very clear anytime I play anyone. The amount I play, you think I would be good. I am mediocre at best. We're here but for the- I love to play. And know what? I love to play with a bottle of wine too. Because mm. the play does improve. Like it does get better. I promise. <sighs> All right. Next time, I'll bring some wine. You destroyed me <laughs> in that one. That's right though. It was a close game though. It was a good game. Yeah, good game. Good, good game, game, sir. That thanks was great. For, thanks for coming on the, uh, what's the name of this book? <laughs> one Cheek, One Mouth. One Cheek, One Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to have you on again. And uh, we'll bring we'll wine next time because that's a, that's apparently... What this needs to be at at 9 a.m. Get lost in the sauce. Yes, yes. (laughs) But uh, anyways, thanks for coming here. Thanks Thanks for hanging out, playing Krogan all. And thanks for watching, everybody. Hey. See you next time. Maybe. I don't know. We may never never do this again. But I had fun. That was great. Yeah. I didn't realize, like, how bad I was (laughs) (laughs) I was like, I just love talking. Yeah, no, I mean, that's kind of the point, I think.